There is something you can see in the sky that we have not seen for 50,000 years here on Earth. And here to explain more about this once in a lifetime event is Eddie Whistler, director of the Brian Gooding Planetarium. Welcome to First Coast Living. And I didn't sleep last night. Uh, I know we're going to make a comet, talk about what a comet is. Let's start with that for those that don't know. We're talking about a green comet we're going to see in the sky. Uh, we haven't seen it on Earth since the Saharan Desert was a swampy, marshy water wasteland. Do you ever sleep? A uh, little. Okay. Yes. So oh, nice hat, by the way. You're right. Okay. We've seen comets. Yeah. We just haven't seen this one. This one has a long period. Uh, as a matter of fact, we might not ever see this again. It might get jettisoned from our solar system. We have to see after it comes through the inner solar system. So here's what's happening. Let's On February 1st, if you look towards the north in a constellation called Draco, you could work all this out for yourself. See if you can, with your bare eyes, see kind of like a green hue in the sky. I can picture it's it. It's not going to be super exciting with your own two eyes. You need dark skies. Mm -hmm. But binoculars are going to help big time. And if you have a telescope, you just dust that thing Ooh. off okay. if it hasn't been out in a while. And this will be a reason to go out. And Eddie, why such a rare event? And why is it taking so long for us to see this thing again? And maybe never again after this time around? Well, because there's billions of comets. OK. Not all of them come visit us in our lifetimes. But there are comets that come by. There are ones that have been and will be more um, amazing to see with your own two eyes. But this one is, um, it's our first one of 2023 and it's green mm -hmm. so it's got this little it's got this little unique part to it okay. comes from the chemicals that are on the surface getting ionized by the sun and yes. its UV light but we should build a comet so that we just are all working from the same playbook right. on what we're looking at let's take science okay take off your gloves level. real quick we don't need it just yet gloves off um, give me some water in that bag right you there please it. all right uh, the water represents it represents the water the comet's made yeah. of. Yes, that's exactly that's right. Part of what it's made of. Uh, and then, oh, that that's a uh, that's plenty. <laughs> but, uh, let's see if we got. I should have I should have directed you a little bit, but wow. we're going to empty some of this because we want to get it done. So okay. we have some water uh -huh. in there. Uh, these are uh, that's just that's carbon. I love it. Okay. And so we've got I'm some carbon. Some that's that a part. And not only that, that's really going to, you could add that whole thing. I'm going to add the whole thing. And we have sand here for silicates, sand? about half that okay. right there. And we'll just empty that. Go, okay, fine, the whole thing. Okay. Sure, why not? <laughs> um, some ammonia. Oh. So glass cleaner, we also have. So that represents some ammonias. We have silicates. We have carbon as part of it. And then what we have also is like so, organics. OK, that makes okay? sense. Organics. organics and simple sugars. Um, these can add together in order to make amino acids. So we uh -huh. find organic material in wow. space all over the place. OK. Uh, and even on comets. And then what we do is you're going to take this right here, and you're mm -hmm. just going to mix it all around. In the meantime, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to blast some more of our <laughs> carbon dioxide right here. This is dry ice. And this is going to represent first off carbon dioxide that's in comets, okay. but also the cold, cold temperatures. And we're talking about not cold we feel here on Earth. It's no, no. This is cold outer space cold and this is where the comets live. However, as the comets make their way in towards the solar system, they feel the heat of the sun. Okay. And some of the stuff starts to uh, evaporate or more, mm -hmm. more specifically sublimate. Add that to that. We got it's it all mixed in. up. It's going in. Let's yep. go. It's going in. Oh, there wow. you go. And now uh, with those gloved hands, mm -hmm. you can go ahead and pull that bag right there out and start to uh, just mix the contents at the bottom. And not only that, this will be cool right here uh, to see. And you hold from the two sides. Got it. And I will go ahead and just press this material together. Mm -hmm. And we are starting to make a comet inside of this bag. Amazing. Um, so, you know, all of this material that we added is to be found in comets. We've landed on comets in outer space. Okay. We view comets through telescopes. We know what they're made up of. Wow. And if we are lucky enough, we're mm -hmm. going to take out a chunk of this and pretty much just see a dirty snowball. Okay. That is what comets are, just dirty snowballs 
out in space. Orbiting so I'm around pressing the sun. all of this together. Beautiful job. Now the thing is, you come in close as a comet and you start feeling the heat of the sun. Okay. And some of this material comes bubbling out in the way that you see here, going straight from the solid form mm -hmm. into uh, the gas form. The gas form, okay. And a lot of that comes out of the back of the comet, and we see that as... It'd be the tail. The tail. Okay. And right. can we depict, well, we made our comet, can we depict the solar wind now as well? Uh, I would really love to. Okay. I'll so you say solar wind, wind. wind. like what do you mean by that? Well, Tell the we know we have wind here on Earth, but we actually have what we call a solar wind coming from the sun. And as that uh, solar wind hits our comet, that should help uh, not only melt it a bit or, or sublimate, but actually create a, a beautiful tail like we're going to see in the sky, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So here is our comet. Beautiful. I've never Ooh. seen a comet up so close. This is un I just it's amazing. In your, it's in here. your studio. It is. Okay. Now, um, we have our comet. Mm -hmm. Typically, it's super, super cold, way out in comet land. Right. And Earth has a distance from the sun, mm -hmm. and comets come from 2,000 to 100,000 times more distant. Okay. And so as it comes in from comet land where it's cold, it starts to heat up. You ready? And we're going to see, let's, we should put that on low okay. and on heat. It's on heat. And we'll see if we can blow back a tail. Come on, let's go. Maybe too high. Maybe too Come on, high. Tail. I see the tail. A little right. bit of a tail. Okay. To the side a little bit. A little bit to the side. And there you go. Isn't science beautiful, Eddie? Oh, uh, look at all oh, of Oh, yes. We get a close-up view and we just see our comet bubbling away. All right, Eddie. The green comet in the sky for the first time in 50,000 years. Get out there and enjoy, and we'd love to see your pictures. Send them to us on our First Coast Living Facebook, and we'll talk more about science and the green comments. And, of course, for another look at this segment, head to firstcoastliving.net.